Marshwood High School Concert Band, directed by Mr. David Gracie. fibers 
that make up the fabric of the class. This past week, I had the pleasure to be amongst the seniors as they experienced a senior award ceremony, a senior banquet, a cookout at the links, convocation, and multiple early morning marching practices. <laughs> With each experience, I gained a better understanding of the class. I discovered there are no common threads. Instead, each member contributes their own unique and special thread, making this cap class's fabric, in my mind, one of the strongest ever in the 44 years of Marshall High School. The diversity of their talents is immense. They are each leaders in their own way. They truly care about one another and are appreciative of the thread each other's, each student weaves into the class to make the fabric a colorful whole. I know they will continue to support each other to make positive choices to keep themselves and others safe as they move on. I had much more that I wanted to say about the class of 2010. But after hearing this evening's speakers practicing their speeches earlier today and reinforcing the idea that practice does make a difference, I will let their words bring out the colors of the class. I do want to conclude with some words spoken at convocation that I believe to be appropriately inspirational for this specific moment. They were spoken by someone who is very much alive. I am honored to present to you the class of 2010 with the words of Josh Bland. Make noise. Now my pleasure to introduce to you the salutatorian for the class of 2010, Isabella Connolly. Vegetables on the cafeteria 
walls than in the salad bar. <laughs> And the ends of the dissected cat smell that covers all of the e pod. <laughs> Unless you're staying in state, it's the end of using marble, which is only for Maine residents, but I'm sure you remember that. It's the end of getting your money eaten by the vending machines, although I hear that happens in the real world too. It's the end of typing from the A-pod doors to your car on the other side of the parking lot just to avoid the lobby lurker. <laughs> and finally, my personal favorite. It's the end of sitting in class before 8 a.m. every morning. I know it might seem a little scary out there, but in the words of R.E.M., it's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Yeah, I do. <laughs> better. I'd like to take a moment now to undedicate this speech to Kobe Jones, who requested a special mention, and dedicate it to Emily Bryant and Lizzie Barker. I met Emily before I could even talk, but I met Lizzie freshman year, so I'm still not sure why she agreed to be friends with me. I'm grateful to both of you. Whatever their reasons, just as I am to all the other friends I've made here. We all have best friends here that we'll never forget, even if we lose touch. I would also like to thank my parents, your parents, all of our teachers, the administration, and the staff, because we won't be here today without them. By here, I mean both alive and on the football field, graduating from high school. We open a lot. We owe them a lot more than we probably realize. So let's give them a hand. In the future, when you remember all the times they lent you a hand, pay it back. But more importantly, pay it forward. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. This actually is the end. Seniors, class of 2010, graduates, friends. Although your brains may have been disengaged since spring fling two weeks ago, since AP exams a month ago, or since the start of senior year 175 school days ago, I hope your hearts will always stay with Mark with, and with the people you and I have learned to love. Thank you. presentation of the class gift is the president of the class of 2010, Andrew Verrill. When I came to Marshwood, I considered myself to be a bit of a loner. I tended to think of myself as a one-man wolf pack. But when I came to this school, I knew I would find more wolves. And just as I thought, my wolf pack started growing. So there was me in the wolf pack, and then others joined in. I was alone first in the pack and all the wolves joined in later. <laughs> and even then, when I was introduced to more and more people, I thought, wait a second, could it be? And now I know for sure, I added even more people to my wolf pack. <laughs> all of us wolves running around together in Marshwood, looking for good grades and diplomas. <laughs> but in all seriousness, on behalf of the class of 2010, I'd like to thank the teachers, the administrators, the custodians, the groundskeepers, the librarians, the nurses, the secretaries, the guidance counselors, the lunch ladies, and anyone else who helped us along. I'd also like to thank student government for all their hard work dedicated to trying to improve the school for future years. And if I could have the following people stand up and remain standing while I call their names, I'd like to recognize them for their work as class officers. <laughs> <laughs> 
whether it was for the last two years, the two years preceding those, or the entire four years. Class Secretary, all four years, Lindsey Gore. <laughs> Class Historian, years one and two, Ben Bartholomew. <laughs> Class Historian, years three and four, Kobe Jones. Vice President, years one and two, Casey Pope. Vice President, years three and four, Tad Olson. And finally, Class President, years one and two, Tegra Longstaff. All right, give him a round of applause. All right, now I'd like to announce our class gift, the reason that I'm up here. This year, we have decided that all of our remaining funds will be donated to the Green Committee in hopes that all the colored tape on the light switches will be replaced. <laughs> Thank you. Bryant. <laughs> the 
smart students and talented performers. But let's be honest, we're not the best or brightest there ever was. <laughs> Our thing is being different. Individuality is the rule for us, not the exception. We defy categories, limits, and expectations. There's no way to classify us, even with the help of both info track and marble. <laughs> Our class has been personalized to the max with the help of technology. In fact, we're more closely bonded by our shared individuality than by anything else. Our taste, our look, our very lifestyles are distinct. And I appreciate that about our class. I hope we never lose that spunk. Deep down, we share a lot of common ground, though. We're more alike than we may know, or even like to admit. Most of us grew up in small town Maine, and life in Elliot and South Berwick was pretty similar, except that it was better in Elliot. <laughs> These communities provided us with a safe, nurturing atmosphere in which to grow up. When Elliot met South Berwick in middle school, thankfully, we were so alike that a sequel to West Side Story was avoided. <laughs> As it turned out, those other kids really weren't all that different. And so, our wolf pack grew. <laughs> we got along, and now look where we are today. Elliotonians sitting side by side, south for Wikis, in perfect harmony. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. We're sitting by alphabetical order this year. Thanks, class of 2009. <laughs> Together we experienced tragedy as well. I wager that every one of you can recall exactly where you were and what you were doing when you heard the news of the attack on the World Trade Center. The events of September the 11th changed the world and changed us too. Impressionable fourth graders that we were. Closer to home, the passing of Manny Ricks and Anthony Blanchiardi has forced us to take a hard look at ourselves, and I hope, to learn from their tragic mistake. But today we stand on the threshold of adulthood. The past is a new memory in the glow of the impending future. In a few moments, the work of a few hundred thousand moments will be complete. And we will finish the last thing we have to do, legally, be adults. Many of us will go on to college, while some will enter the workforce and make money while their classmates go into debt. <laughs> A few will enter the military, dispersed throughout the branches. A lucky couple will take a year or two or three off to figure out what life holds for them. No matter our route, there is truly unlimited potential in the contemporary world. We have a solid foundation, thanks to our education, and the technological prowess to build success on that foundation. At this point, we're limited solely by the depth and breadth of our imagination. It is imagination that will be the fuel of the future, not coal, nor atoms, nor wind, and certainly not oil. As Albert Einstein once said, Imagination is the preview of life's coming attraction. The miraculous technology of today is a testament to the imagination of the past. We must continue this tradition, which should be easy for our class, because imagination is almost as familiar as technology. We grew up with Harry Potter and Star Wars. Dumbledore and Yoda taught us to believe in the improbable use the force. Why we even look like Harry Potter tonight with these robes. <laughs> Twilight too has sparked the imaginations of those among us. So these imaginations are likely fantasies involving Edward and Jacob. <laughs> but if we can imagine a better world, a brighter future for ourselves, we can start to live that dream. It starts now. 
No one is there to pull us along anymore. We decide our own fate from this day forward. Through the thoughtful use of the tools of our generation, we can expand our horizons and achieve personal success. I truly hope that each and every one of us can live a life with no regrets. Take chances. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. This isn't high school anymore. You'll grow through failure and learn how to better yourself. I'm not advocating a life of reckless abandon, but that being said, an open life works for some people. But what I am saying is to have confidence in yourself and to make decisions with pride and conviction. You're well prepared, so go for it. In your future pursuits, be careful that technology does not become a substitute for actual personal interaction. We've all become lost on YouTube or Facebook, watching the hours pass with slaves eyes. But don't trade relationships for convenience. Don't become isolated by technology. Protect your individuality and remember your common background. Stay connected to the world, but remain active locally. And above all else, imagine. Because before you can live, before you can live anything, you have to imagine it. Now let's graduate. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Jeffrey Bearden. Assisting him will be the Assistant Principal, Ms. Kelly Glenn.
Jennifer May Baker. Molly McEwen Danville. Elizabeth Delira Barker. Benjamin Jacob Bartholomew. Megan Mary Becker. Nicole Cheyenne Bellotti. John Piot. <laughs> Anthony Michael Berner. <laughs> Tyler Elliot Phillips. Rebecca Jane Dillidu. <laughs> Melody Nicole Blanchett. <laughs> Joshua Mayo Bland. Michelle Lynn Bourget. Sarah Ann Bourget. Latika J. Brewster. Karen Joanna Briggs. <laughs> Elsie Brooks. <laughs> Samantha Brooks. Catherine Mary Brostek. <laughs> Emily Rose Bryant. Dylan Carey. <laughs> Michelle Carr. as well.
Jackie Katucci. Marie Du 
Newby. Ryan Duron. Brian Dumont. <laughs> Nicole Dutton.
Jordan Guy. Christine. 
Christina Knight.
Ann Melvin. Travis Alexander Mendola. Doug Morrell. George Mott.
Rebecca Powers. Christopher James Reddy. Brian Michael Rice. Patrick Richardson. Emily Robinson.
Benjamin Orton Garrion. Alexa Nicole Young. At this time, you can move your tassels from right to left. Of the music of the Jonas Brothers. 
The people around us now will be the models for the relationships we will develop and cherish for the rest of our lives. As we move on into our future lives, even though we will have with us the essence of our collective high school experience, we won't know what to expect. We may have everything planned out in our minds and think we know life's every move, but there's that small speck of uncertainty life inherently holds that will keep us guessing. Though it will be difficult at times, we will have behind us, backing us up, the collective memories we have created in the past four years of high school. The memories of our teachers, the memories of our classes, the memories of our peers, the memories of our friends. And it is this time and these memories that taught us who we are and who we can become. On behalf of the class of 2010, farewell Marshall High School. for the recessional distigration marshals